Hey there, welcome to the More is Possible event, uh, The Power of One. Uh, we're gonna go over SolidWorks 2022 and what's new. Uh, this overview is going to comprise uh, a lot of the main functionality that you're looking to uh, incorporate into when you upgrade to 2022 and what features you're gonna see right away working with the main program. We also have a trade show booth where you're gonna find individual um, videos that you can link to, see the, the best of, all the different lists that you're looking for. So uh, sit back and we're gonna go over some of the awesome new features of SolidWorks 2022. SolidWorks 2022 sees huge improvements in administrative images, making them more powerful and organized. There are two new options for deploying admin images, Remote Client and Compressed. Remote Client was created for remote users, so when deploying, it'll auto-download the bulk of the installation from SolidWorks servers rather than the company VPN slowing things down. A compressed administrative image contains all of the same components as a standard image, but in a reduced file size that allows for easier sharing. We've also seen some improvements with organization of settings. We can now create multiple nested groups to mimic the company hierarchy. Each subgroup is going to inherit the settings to the parent groups, making editing easy. It also reduces the user XML file size, which makes deployments even faster. When setting up some of our settings, we see some improvements to PDM. Typically, our PDM users would have to set up the vault view manually after installation or using a batch, batch script, but now the admin image will set it up automatically for us. We've also seen that our electrical client options are now more clearly defined. Moving between the Deploy Manually or Deploy Automatically tabs, you'll see that the structure is mirrored with that hierarchy. So when working with administrative images in 2022, you'll find that creating, editing, and deploying is much easier and more powerful with better support for software packages, improved organization, and additional image types. For SOLIDWORKS 2022, they have improved the ability to import and export file types. Specifically, if you're working with a facility layout file type uh, known as an IFC file, this has specifically been targeted for these larger complex models uh, where IFC files have been needed to be imported uh, or exported uh, from SOLIDWORKS. So this has been improved. Um, and now uh, you can also improve the import of these IFC file types uh, where you can actually go into the options and specifically select what information you want from these file types. So you could actually trim down the information so that you're not trying to grab every single detail. That's going to improve the opening time performance, and you're also not gonna have all the extra uh, information clogging what it is you need to do your work with SOLIDWORKS. So that's for facility layout file types, specifically IFC. Um, next, also for exporting, we have DXF file types. So that's gonna be something where you've had this capability in the past to export DXFs of sheet metal parts uh, directly from your part files. But now there are options included to actually contain the colors uh, for the different uh, features, whether it's cuts or whether it's bends, uh, the bounding box, and that can be read by your uh, downstream machine operations. So those files from DXF now contain that information and you can view that here through your eDrawings preview. So when you're working with different file types, uh, IFC files, which are really large, complex facility layouts, that's gonna be better imported into SolidWorks where it's gonna have all that information that you can choose between or the exports are that much more reliable for other programs to work with your IFC file types. 
Um, and then for your DXFs, you're gonna have uh, more options to include the colors to convey manufacturing information. SOLIDWORKS PDM 2022 introduces powerful new features to keep your designs on time and on budget and your design teams organized and informed. Reviewing your models from the Preview tab is now even easier with the eDrawings Desktop full UI fully embedded. We've got the measure tool available with all of its options. We can choose millimeters, centimeters, inches, whatever we need. And we also have full access to the component design tree, which allows us to highlight compo components in the viewer. It's super important to keep design costs low uh, by reusing past designs. It's really key in making this possible. SOLIDWORKS 2022 allows us to incorporate our licensed Exalade One Part environment into PDM Professional. Exalade One Part is a powerful search and discovery application that allows us to gain insight into our vaulted data. One Part highlights the results and shows us parts that share similar geometry. And in this case, we want to find a part with the lowest weight, so we'll compare all three side by side. Once we identify the part, we can actually click open to open it up in SOLIDWORKS. In 2022, we can open the drawing from a part regardless of what the drawing is named or where it's located in the vault. This command has also been added to the PDM add-in, which allows us to quickly access component drawings. Moving on to the administration tool, adding new users is now easier than ever. Our users and groups nodes have been consolidated into one, which makes it easier to find. Our user card properties have also been updated. Um, and once we go to edit individual users, we'll also find that many more fields have been added um, so that more information can be added for each user. Our group properties card now allows us to overwrite the Windows group name to a more descriptive name so it can be more easily identified from the tree. In 2022, we can now block the transition of drawings that were saved in detailing mode, and a new system variable has been added for drawing saved in detailing mode, which can be used in data cards to provide enhanced vi visibility to the state that a drawing has been saved in. SOLIDWORKS 2022 increases our productivity by adding new tools for user controls, search integrations, and preview enhancements. SOLIDWORKS 2022, let's look and see what we've got for new features working with part files. Okay, so graphics, bodies, inside of SOLIDWORKS. These are usually hard to work with, something where you almost want a different file type. But hold up, in SOLIDWORKS 2022, we've got the ability to edit the geometry directly we can actually uh, add chamfers, fillets, or we can extrude uh, directly onto the surface of the graphics body and work with these files directly. So that's a big improvement. If you've ever tried to work with a graphics body inside of SOLIDWORKS, a mesh B-Rep format, uh, you've really run into this issue. Now, because we have different bodies, we could use that save bodies command and actually save these out to different locations. But then, if I were to do a pack and go, where, where are those? Well, in um, SOLIDWORKS 2022, I can actually choose which bodies I'm going to actually reference and I can include those in the pack and go. Um, if you've ever worked with section views, so section views are super helpful in the midst of designing, um, but they've had a little bit of awkward use in terms of anything that's cylindrical. So now a new feature is to be able to select a cylindrical face and rotate a section view to be able to get to see inside of those cylindrical objects. Also, we've got uh, a replacement for the thread features. So the thread feature is gonna add cut threads the stud wizard 
is going to actually add some cosmetic threads that can be called out on drawings. They're going to add a very nice flair to your design here. Um, and we're going to put those positive threads. You can even have the undercut on these threads for this barrel um, to see what you're working with. And finally, my favorite part of this is the custom properties. For all of you uh, title block geeks and PDM geeks, just like myself, we now have two tabs. So configuration specific is still there, but now we've got something called the properties summary tab. Now, what do you do with that? Well, that tab actually has all the uh, categories and all those custom properties. And then you can actually see per configuration what it is each one is assigned. So you can compare them and, and add them, change them all right there in the tool. So that is some of the updates of working directly with parts. We've got mesh B rep uh, modeling directly inside of SolidWorks. You don't have to ask for a different file type, section views, um, working with the stud wizard to put some different types on there. And don't forget the properties wizard is so powerful and important. SOLIDWORKS 2022 offers significant performance and usability improvements to working with assemblies. Large design review mode has been enhanced. Users can actually start working with their assemblies and editing them more quickly and efficiently than ever before. We're going to try opening up this Nemo submersible with over 6,000 parts, and you'll see that it opens in just about 13 seconds. So you can fully view that model. And now we want to take a look at the drawing. We can open our drawings directly from large design review mode uh, in detailing mode. And if you haven't worked with detailing mode before, that was offered in an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS. It's an extremely efficient way to start working with your drawings. Um, and it's going to open up in only 21 seconds as well. Detailing mode is fully interactive. You can use it to work with a drawing that already has its views created. And we can continue to work with that drawing by adding dimensions, notes, tables, and so much more. Ultimately, it's going to streamline how we work with large and complex designs. So we can also open subassemblies from large design review modes so that we ensure we're not loading any unnecessary information. If we want to access the fully resolved models, we can resolve them by right clicking and selecting resolve from the open dropdown. Now let's start working with this assembly a little bit. We'll also find that moving components is also significantly easier. Uh, so when we select a component from the tree, we're actually presented with a triad to move it. This is going to help when components are not visible in the current view like this assembly right here. Configuration tables are another great new addition to 2022 that allows for easily adding and specifying new configurations. We can toggle the suppression state of different components and specify which version to use of each component. Manual updates are also going to be added to the configuration table. So SOLIDWORKS 2022 is going to offer us performance and usability improvements to large design review mode, moving components and assemblies, and configurations so that you can focus your energy on engineering design. So let's talk about graphics modeling performance with SOLIDWORKS 2022. In the past, we have added a new feature called 3D Texture. That allowed you to add an appearance, white, dark, and it was going to transform that into an actual 3D form graphics body. So you could 3D print this, you could rapid prototype this. 
that was very uh, intense to the performance of solvers, a very, very big draw on the, the system. We've actually improved the performance of that, so you can actually start to utilize that in your everyday designing and not worry about the performance hit that you're going to be uh, taking. What does that mean? Well, you're going to get to see these texture-based uh, features uh, so much more. So if you have the stud wizard or you're adding those cosmetic threads, you're really going to get to see the dynamics uh, of what you're applying there. And that's right here in the part modeling. That's especially helpful for the whole wizard, which we use all the time. Um, and you're going to see these cosmetic threads really pop off the screen. And you're also going to be able to call those out uh, in your drawings. Whether you're working with the texture or whether you're working with cosmetic threads, it's all about improved performance. So whether you're zooming in, zooming out, left, right, rotating your model, it's going to utilize your graphics processor that much better. And so you're going to have a faster readout even from last year, which was faster than the year before that. In general, you have enhanced graphics performance. You're going to see a smoother, uh, more reliable output with 2022 and that's going to play you're going to get to see that directly when you start working with those cosmetic threads uh, with the whole wizard most companies have the mindset that they need to build it right the first time enhancements in solidworks 2022 allow us to get even better at communicating through drawings We mentioned detailing mode in the assembly section, but let's dive a little bit deeper. Detailing mode has been available for a few years already, and we can open large drawings in just seconds by working on them without the overhead of loading any parts or assemblies. You actually don't even need to have them on your machine. We can add and edit notes, balloons, and add dimensions and tolerances. Twenty twenty two even allows us to insert whole tables and add standard views from the view palette. When we're finished, we can save and print the drawing to PDF for an accurate view of the drawing. In twenty twenty two, SolidWorks allows us to open up any prior version drawing in detailing mode. This allows us to open a drawing even if we don't have the referenced model. Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, or GDNT, allows functional definition of component features and allowances to clearly illustrate manufacturing intent. SolidWorks 2022 introduces a brand new intuitive interface to define GDNT. We can define specification, zone, feature, characteristics, and even erase our mistakes. We now have a new option in 2022 to toggle bendline visibility to increase your ability to automate documentation to sheet metal parts. Proper documentation is key in designs. SolidWorks 2022 allows us to add clarity to our drawings, share our intent, and finish the designs faster. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to come out to our MIP event this year and listen to what's new in SolidWorks 2022 with myself and Andrew. Um, go and check out some of the additional resources out on the landing page. Uh, there's a ton of awesome breakout sessions, handouts, trade show booths. Um, make sure you go and check out the chat. You'll get some really awesome networking in, whether it's with uh, you know, someone from our team, someone from the DriveWorks team, Mark Forge team, or even, uh, you know, somebody from another company. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.